Today's conviction is a great victory in the battle against corrupt conduct by public officials. Now at five, handcuffed and hauled away. A guilty plea ends the corruption trial and career of former Philadelphia District Attorney Seth Williams. Williams resigned after admitting in court he used the office for personal gain. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. We have you covered on every angle of the story. Let's begin with our Joe Holden outside federal court where Williams pleaded guilty just eight days into his trial. Joe? Yuki, Jess, good afternoon. What a seismic shift in tone. Just hours ago, Williams, when he entered court, appeared to be proclaiming his innocence. However, just a few hours after that, telling the judge he was guilty. And tonight, he is a federal inmate at a federal detention facility one block from here. The moment Seth Williams pleaded guilty came at 1135 Thursday morning. The stunning admission unraveled three months after he was indicted, when his career took a public nosedive, veering off course from a once promising trajectory. The former district attorney for the city of Philadelphia admitted each of the corrupt and fraud allegations contained in the indictment. A shaken and emotional Williams entered court one last time. He apologized and told the judge he was responsible for everything prosecutors had alleged, a long and head-shaking list of crimes. It was very clear that Mr. Williams was accepting benefits in exchange for his official conduct. It was very clear that he defrauded the nursing home. He admitted redirecting money for the care of his own mother in a nursing home. He acknowledged accepting money, trips and cars for his official action and influence. Mr. Williams asked me to express uh, to you and to the public his uh, sincerest apologies, not only to his supporters and the voters of Philadelphia, but also to the hardworking men and women of the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office. Williams first popped on the Fed's radar years ago. Homeland Security officials had been tracking this man, Muhammad Ali, for alleged money laundering. It was during that investigation that the Homeland Security official saw contacts with Seth Williams on Mr. Ali's cell phone. Williams pleaded guilty to a single count of bribery relating back to a trip Muhammad Ali provided to him. Ali wanted Williams' help in reducing a jail term for a convicted felon. The gifts that Mr. Williams received represent the degree to which he cheated the public. And Eyewitness News just obtained this document. It reads, I, R. Seth Williams, hereby resign as the district attorney of the city and county of Philadelphia, effective immediately. We actually saw that document in Thomas Burke's hands. Tom Burke, Seth Williams' attorney. This was part of the flurry of activity leading up to this morning's guilty plea. Now coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, there was a phone call at 1 o'clock this morning that triggered all of this activity. It was by Seth Williams' own doing. The phone call went from his lawyer to a federal prosecutor. More on reaction to that when I see you in one hour. Live outside the federal courthouse in Center City, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.